Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. So I'm coming to you guys with a Sierra inspired hair and makeup tutorial. First, I'm going to start off by priming my face with this primer. This is the Nivea Min Post Shave Bomb. I love it. Then I already color corrected my face as you can tell with the orange concealer from my MAC palette. And then I'm going to spray my face with this LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray that all over my face just so that my foundation can like kind of melt into my face better. So now I'm using my black oval stick foundation and my Morphe brush to pounce, kind of pounce in and buff in my foundation on my face. And we're going for more of like a dewier look today. So this is why I was using setting spray and all that stuff. I'm going Max Groundwork Paint Pot to prime my eyelids. And this just helps our eyeshadow stick and stay on all day. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX translucent powder and set that. Now we're going in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and this is going to be our transition color today. We're not using that many eyeshadows so I'm just going to use a blending brush to apply that right above my crease. And right below my eyebrow highlight and kind of blending it in. Now I'm going in with presumptuous I think it's called by Makeup Geek and I'm going to put that all over my lid with a eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna pat that in this is more of a it's a shimmery color it's a shimmery brownie champagne color it's not so intense it's very close to my like skin tone color so it's very neutral but it does have glitter in it so now I'm just gonna blend those two colors together with that same blending brush. Now I'm going in with Woodwinked by MAC and I'm putting that over that color just to brighten it up just a little bit. It was looking kind of dull to me so I just wanted to add a little bit more like glitter. So now I went in with some um, Carbon L'Oreal Mascara and I'm gonna put on my lashes in a second. So now in my concealer, I'm using two color concealers today from LA Girl and I'm going to um, put that underneath my eyes with the applicator and then I'm going to blend it in with my damp beauty blender. Um, the damp beauty blender just um, ensures that the concealer blends smoothly and seamlessly. Absolutely love the beauty blender. Don't know what I would do without it. And I use the color Toffee and Fawn. No, Cool Tan. So Cool Tan and Toffee for my highlight today. And I'm just still patting that concealer in. And toffee is like a darker brown color too, by the way. I was just going for a subtle highlight today. So now I'm just using my foundation brush to blend out the harsh edges. Now I'm putting on my eyelashes. These are the Salon Perfect Lashes, the 614 ones. If you guys don't know, I always double them up. So they're two pairs of lashes on top of each other. <laughs> And now I'm just going to set my concealer underneath my eyes and I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Now I'm going to go in and highlight the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Per usual, I do this every time I do my makeup because I can't go without it. And you have to listen to Sierra if you're doing a Sierra inspired makeup tutorial. So um, anyway, I'm just going to blend out everything and just using patting motions to kind of melt the concealer into your skin and then you want to set that as well just like you did with your under eye highlight I just um, literally pat the banana powder in with like a smaller brush so it can be kind of precise and it'll just set this make it not move and it'll just make it look better <laughs> so just set all of that with banana powder everywhere that you highlighted set with banana powder so now I'm going to go in with my NYX Conceal and Correct palette. I'm going to use a darker color in this palette and I'm going to kind of cream contour just a little bit. I'm going to put that in the hollows of my cheek and blend it out with a fluffier angled brush just to blend out the harsh line. And I'm going in with my MAC, I mean not my MAC, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in the color Fawn and I'm going to set that cream concealer with this color. And I'm going to conceal my, not conceal my forehead, um, contour my forehead and all that stuff. So now I'm contouring my nose and I was looking at a picture of Sierra so I was trying to copy her nose a little bit but you know what, we don't have the same nose so it's whatever. But I just went ahead and contoured my nose with that shade, same Anastasia um, Contour Kit shade. 
Now I'm going in with Max MSF in dark and I'm going to put this underneath my um, eyes and basically everywhere that I highlighted. So just to set those areas a little bit more. Now I am, what is this, taking Max dark, deep dark and I'm using this as a blush today because I know the Sierra doesn't wear like too much blush and this comes up kind of orangey ready. So orangey ready. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to um use that as my blush today and it looks actually really pretty and um natural on my skin tone. So now I'm highlighting. I'm using Max Gold Deposit and Max Oh Darling highlighter mixed together to highlight the cheap cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. So now I'm going in with my mascara and I am um, putting mascara on my lower lashes. I've recently been doing this and I absolutely love it. It just makes your eyes pop out. <laughs> now I'm using this liner to go in my waterline to also help my eyes pop a little bit. And this is the Urban Decay 24-7 liner. Yeah. <laughs> So now I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm going to apply that everywhere. So this is just going to help all of our foundation set once again and it's just going to um, give us that really natural nice finish but with full coverage. So now what I'm going to do is go in with MAC Chestnut Liner. I'm using a lot of MAC products today. I didn't really mean to do that but yeah. Um, and I'm going to line my lips. And now I'm taking Max Sis and I'm going to fill them in. This is my all time favorite nude lipstick. I always pair it with chestnut. It just looks so pretty. And I'm going to go in also with Velvet Teddy and put that over it. I've been layering lipsticks lately and I absolutely love it because it helps me find my perfect nude. And then this is NYX, a NYX gloss. I'll put down below in the description. So it's wig time guys. This wig is a Sierra Ombre Brazilian Hair Lace Wig from WildAfrican.com. This is how the wig looks straight out of the box on the left. And on the right is when I co-washed it and all of that stuff. And I changed the parting to a middle part. Now I'm just cutting the lace off. And that's how the parting looks um, when I change the parting. So I'm just going to cut the ends very blunt because they were a little bit um, split but that's okay I don't really care about that I was gonna cut the hair anyway so um, I'm just gonna spray my hair with some um, heat protectant and I'm gonna spray it with some hairspray as well and I'm just gonna tussle it just to make it a little bit more messy because I hate like structured hair especially like shorter hair now I'm just going to curl it as you guys watch me curl it I'm gonna explain um, how I feel about the wig and all that stuff the wig is very soft. Um, when I did co-wash the hair, I got minimal sh minimal <laughs> shedding. It did not shed almost at all. And it, the hair curls very well. You don't need to, um, you know, take so much effort into curling it because it, it definitely, definitely takes too heat. And um, what else do I have to say about it? The color is gorgeous. It just, I just feel like it's not for me. I'm definitely a jet black girl. I'm probably going to dye this hair in the future. Probably like a wild color that I would never do. <laughs> so give me some suggestions on what color, like green or red. Something really wild and out there that I would never wear just to play around with color. So yeah, I mean, this wig is um, 12 inches, but I did cut it a little bit. So right here, I'm just adding some of my foundation that I put on my face into the concealer powdering. I didn't tweeze it or anything. This is just how it is. And I'm just going to fluff it out a little bit and kind of run my curling iron through it so that the curls aren't so tight because it does curl very well. <laughs> so I'm just running it through it. Basically, guys, would I buy this wig with my own money? Yes, I would because it's definitely very versatile. I'm probably going to dye it and I think it'll look amazing. I might cut it into a bob or something like that, but I don't know. Give me some ideas in the comment section down below what I should do next with this wig. Oh, and I do have a coupon code for $15 off of their lace wigs. And I'll put everything down below that you need to know. But thank you guys again for watching and have a good one. Bye.